Hey everybody, this is a video about how to get your online meetings. Uh, so because we're going to be out for six weeks, uh, we are going to have online meetings with our students uh, to keep connected and to keep some of the learning uh, going. Um, so this is how you can get to your meetings. Um, if you go to uh, dearbornstem.org, there is, there is a chance this won't work. We have not built it out yet. But if you go to dearbornstem.org, you should go to this new website. If you don't, if it doesn't work, if you end up still going to If this is still the place you're going, then uh, either there will be a link here that you can go to, or you need to go to sites.google.com slash view slash Dearborn at home learning slash home. You actually don't even need the home part, but you'll need this. Um, that link will be in an email to you. We'll make sure that whatever link you get takes you here. Uh, this is the online website that we've created. This will have announcements. Um, this will have, and then it also have uh, buttons for kids. We don't have middle school in here yet. We're kind of building everything at the same time. But these are the online spaces for high school. Middle school is coming. Um, there is so if you come in here, we're just going to use teachers as an example, and you need to get to your GLT meeting. If you click on teachers, it will take you to uh, it'll take you to kind of a list of uh, what's what and who's who here. If I go to my sixth grade GLT meeting, so let's say my sixth grade GLT meeting is scheduled at Tuesdays at eleven o'clock. Tuesday at eleven o'clock, I go to this website, I click on this, it will then open a new tab. And you'll see something like this. So, well, look at this guy. Um, so you may see at the top left, it may say allow for video and allow for audio. Yes, allow, 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 allow. You are not in the meeting right now. This is not, we're not in the meeting. We currently have my audio, my microphone's on and my video's on. If I to do this, my video turns off. If I do this, I mute my microphone. It's customary, especially with larger meetings. And we're going to try to uh, message this to kids too that the kids can leave their video on, that's fine, but they should definitely mute their mics because you're gonna have a lot of background noise going on. So before they enter the meeting, they should mute their microphones and then click join meeting. And now I'm the only one in this meeting, so you're only gonna see me. You're probably gonna see a whole grid of children or if you're in your, um, your uh, meetings, you're gonna see all the other teachers. Um, and you should have this muted if you're in a meeting until you're ready to talk. And when you're ready to talk, you open it up and you say something. Um, you can also over here, kids can type in messages. If they click on this, you can have a little chat that you can say stuff to everybody in the group. Also, if you want to click present, if you click present now, you can present stuff on your screen or you can present only a window. So if you want to say like of a specific, all the windows that I have open, if I want to like present my, I don't know, my Python stuff, I'm going to click on Python. And I'm going to show the kids just my Python stuff. So that is how you use the meetings. If you need to, if a kid can't find the meeting, if they're texting you, if somebody can't get on, if you click on meeting details, you'll see here, this is the joining info. So they need to go to this website or if somebody's on the phone or something like that, they can call this number and use this pin to call in this for GLT that's probably uh, totally appropriate if you if you need to be on your phone you need to be up for whatever reason who knows what's going on um, this is a way that you can dial in um, yeah so that should they also have closed captions I've never seen if this works um, this is Google uh, Google trying to do closed captions I don't see any so I don't think it works but it could be pretty cool if it does other than that um that should pretty much do it so um, again i'm just going to go through one more time i go to the dearborn online learning website 
I scroll down to, let me just get out of that. I scroll down to, um, let's say I go to 10th grade and I go, it's Monday and I click on ELA. This link is not live yet. So it will be, you'll be transported to a meeting room. So let's go to, I don't know, let's go to my meeting room that this one is live because I know who's doing this. And then I, if I'm a student, I should turn off my mic, um, join the meeting. My chat is over here. I can type in all sorts of stuff. Um, I can see the people over here. Here's everybody in my class. If I need to invite somebody, I can add an invite here. Or I can, well, look at this, I can actually call them. Wow, they're getting better and better. Or down here, if I need to get meeting details and give them something, it's all here. Um, and if I need to show stuff, my entire screen, this will take my screen and project my screen on onto the, to the screen of all the other kids, or I can uh, just show a specific window. Um, and that's, that's all you pretty much need to know about that right now. Okay, good luck, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.